Welcome back, it is Thursday, that means acting analysis, finding meters, and today I'm going to take a look at the trailer for the movie Marriage Story. That's right, it's the trailer, it's not the full movie, it's gonna come out on Netflix. But I thought the trailer was great and it had a lot of little bits and pieces in there that I wanted to highlight, so it's a lot of one-shot things, except at the very end, which is more of an audio lip-sync type of thing, but let's get straight to all the shots. And this one is just one shot, which you saw before, this is something that happens here in the hallway. And again, this is the trailer, so lots of separate shots, but what I liked about this is that he's looking at this and tells her to turn it. And I love that actually, even though he has a hand and he could do something, he doesn't want to do too much because he's probably on the phone, he doesn't want to say too much, we're not sure yet. But I like the idea of not using words, since maybe he's on hold again, he's talking. He's not using his hand here, he's using his whole body to <laughs> indicate that he wants this to turn. Next up is this moment here where she has an argument with him. Again, this is very short. But what I wanted to point out here, and this is just as a comparison between live action and animation. This is technically nice in terms of animation because it's a very clear silhouette. It's a nice simplified pose with the triangle. A lot of times in animation you got that triangle pose here in the hands, the neck is out, clear shapes. It's a really nice pose technically. And then it goes into something like this where at the same time we would point this out in animation going, mm, it's twinning, you don't want to do this, you don't want to gesture too much with your arms, potentially depending on the, on the context, of course, and the acting choice, but it's just a lot of twinning, a lot of double arm motion. So it's funny how in live action that's no problem, but in animation it might be something that you want to avoid. But I do want to highlight how that, especially if I go lower here on this frame, how great this is in terms of a silhouette. Next up is this shot here, close up and further away. And again, this is short, but what I love about this is that with all the happy shots and whatever in the trailer, as it progresses, it gets a bit more serious. And I love this that you can, I mean, you know, in animation, this might be too still to have, you know, just one pose here and nothing else. But I love the idea that it's, he's looking down, it seems to be very somber. You wonder something sad happens, and then it changes focus and we realize, okay, this is a courtroom, and they're not on the same table. So now there's it's something that's, you know, against those two characters, they're fighting, something's going on. What I love is this too, is that she looks away. This is why I have that here. I love that little moment there when she goes. They're in the same room, you can see here. And at this point, something must have happened. But I love that even though they're apart, she just can't even look over to him or just being next to him, there's something that annoys her. I just love that little moment there. Again, not that you want to do this potential animation, that would just be a shot here and this, it would be great in the movie. Not sure if that's something that's on the reel, but I just thought in terms of just a subtle head move, I'm always a big fan of head accents and head moves. I thought that was really cool in terms of where they are, the situation, and what she does in that moment. Next up is this little moment, again, kind of cut short, but what I love about this is that this could be technically your pantomime shot, where you have a mother, or it could be a father, whoever, whoever is taking care of the kids, you have a little bit of, you know, chest up, kid could walk away, it's kind of a bit of a, you know, walk, run, cycle, walk, run something. You don't really have to show much in terms of body mechanics, but it tells us the story that the character is going away. You might even have background characters if you want to, but I like this idea that the focus is technically on this character, and here you can show in your animation ways how it's a proud parent, or it's a concerned parent because the kid is off to school for the first day, or it's maybe something, I don't know, whatever you can show, but I thought that was a cool setup of a parent or a partner or whoever is taking care of the kid, just to have that moment of, okay, kid is going away, what is now the emotion of this character? I thought it was kind of a cool moment. And then just quick, this shot here, just wanted to point out, again, something that in animation, you would probably not have that, we would not, preferably, have hands cover the actor's face or your character's face here and the eye, even though it's, a, it's technically a nice clean hand pose, uh, we would probably tell students or people in dailies, ah, maybe move that arm and, and free up that face. But again, live action is always a bit different. And probably actually now that it swaps into this other shot, again, the twinning of gestures. Um, but yeah, it's just something that I wanted to point out. The main thing I wanted to show you is actually after this, is this moment here. I'm gonna play this, There's, I'm gonna turn everything off except the sound of that moment here. I thought we should talk. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to start. 
Ah, oh, so good. And if you watch my clips, you probably know why I love this. It's just the silence in the middle and her head accent, her gesture here through the head is so great. So there's this moment of, we should probably talk. And you know, she fidgets around with this, got a little inquisitive head tilt. And he's okay, oh, all right, let's talk. And you know, you got eye contact and there's no, you know, looking away. He's interested in engaging. And I love this, that when you have your lip sync, that now the pause, you can do whatever you want to with that pause. And I love this, it's that moment of, okay, now let's go. And it's so great, it's that little, moment with the head and then watch here watch your eyebrow as i'm framing through look at that oh, it's tiny it's so good though it's just that extra little it's almost like this is your pose sub pose it's almost like an exclamation point of that main pose there it's such an awesome little moment and then all of this in silence this is something that you can do you know you could have a completely different reaction i just like that he has a little smirk and a laugh he doesn't know what to say but she said i don't know what to say and after that, you could end your shot with this, that just showing obviously the distance visually, they have probably grown apart and a difference in posing. It's just an interesting example to me that when you have lip sync where potentially maybe that pause isn't that long and you artificially extend that pause to add those moments here in your shot. As I always say, to kind of take control of lip sync. So it's not just you have to animate what they're saying here. You have a bit more freedom before and after and potentially in between. That's it, short and sweet. And actually this was really cool because the trailer, it's actually two trailers. I will link them in the description. You have one from Adam Driver's perspective and one from Scarlett Johansson's perspective. I'm intrigued, I wanna see this. What I thought was really cool is that even in that short trailer, of course in trailer, is almost more material because it's lots of short little scenes compacted into a trailer, like it's a long movie. But I thought it was cool that even within those two trailers, there's so many moments, at least to me, that I thought were interesting that you could extrapolate and kind of interpret or change or tweak to potentially use in your animation shots. Now, if you agree and you thought that was interesting, I do have workshops. You know that I always mention at the end, if you think that this is cool and interesting and you wanna apply this to your shots and you want me to help you, you can sign up for my workshop, link in the description with all the goodies and all the info, but that's it. Thank you for watching as always. And if you watch this whole thing till the very end, you know that I'm very grateful for your patience and I will see you in one of my next clips.